Okay. Let me turn this big bulky air conditioner off so you guys can hear me. I'll sacrifice my well-being for a little bit for the video, don't worry. I'm gonna be fine. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys what my plan was for the interiors of this thing. So right now, I'm standing in the front of the cab so you can get a full view of the layout and what's going on. Um, so there's a lot of things that I wanna do differently and one is getting a cute runner that goes all the way from the front to the back that will match my aesthetics. And when this little guy gets old enough to not be in a crate, he's trying to eat my scissors, which is really nice. I can remove the crate and actually have this as more of a functioning dinette. But for now, I awkwardly sit in the dinette and I'll show you how. I'm in my PJs, don't judge me. Don't judge me. I've been working from home all day. So I awkwardly sneak my leg in like so. And then I sit on the laptop right here. Yeah, it works for now. Now that I think I've turned your head around in a circle. But like so. So from the cab, immediately from the entrance and next to the cab is a chair. It does not swivel, but it does have some levers at the bottom and I'm kind of curious on what it actually does. But I want to paint the chair rail. I want to do something new with this drapery. Um, I'm going to be replacing the hardware cabinet hardware to be a little bit more funkier. I want to paint this door a funky color. Again, the runner and get rid of this dirty carpet. Um, right now I've been keeping my shoes at the front of the door right here. So maybe a little shoe rack would be nice. Um, the other drapery, my sheer here needs another chunky tie back. Up front, I'm thinking about getting chair covers to protect the original fabric of upholstery um, and to make it kind of funkier in here. It'd be nice if I could replace the carpet, but that is way down the line. So cabinet wise, I've been debating on painting some colors on the cabinets and I already have some painted which is I painted down here and you know, I have another video that shows how I painted those and it was a pain in my butt and then I painted it in the dinette or the uh, kitchen. I love how the kitchen turned out but the booth I'm not happy with. So for the rest of the cabinets, let me step back. I would like to probably paint an accent wall here, add wallpaper to the front facade of the fridge, maybe paint my closet a funky color, add the funky hardware over here as well and leave this probably wood. It would be cool if I can find a, a flush mount lamp that can hang over the dinette. But for now, I'll be hanging up the art. And then in the kitchen, I want to add a super funky, bold wallpaper back there to match with the cabinets below. The curtains that divide the bathroom and the bedroom i want to replace with some really bold funky funky colors y'all like super funky i mean funky funky get funky with me now and then back here i want to add some color behind the windows like all underneath the uppers and then funky hardware 
bathroom. Oh gosh, it's probably messy in here. The reality of RB living, y'all. I painted that, the bottom of the vanity, and I want to paint the top to match. Watch out for me. And I was debating on painting the toilet lid a funky color and then adding a cute little hardware knob on top so it looks like a treasure box. You open it and my shit's in there, you know, it's a treasure box. Anyways, and then of course a new shower curtain and get rid of those ruffles. What is that? Those ruffles have got to go, yo. No, no, no to the ruffles. Okay, you guys. That was a quick mini tour of my mini RV, my 23 foot Jayco RV and the updates that I want to do on them. See you later.